Is it getting hot in here? Is it just me? <laughs> All right, what's up everyone? Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Derek from Simnate Nutrition. We're back here in the kitchen for another recipe video. And today we're gonna be making three amazing dishes that you can make for the Christmas holidays. We've got one side, we've got one main, and we've got one dessert that's gonna please even the pickiest of meat eaters. So the side we're gonna be making is baked Brussels sprouts with pecans, some maple syrup, and some spices. Such a simple dish, but so good. And then the main we're gonna be making is a lentil and nut loaf. It is unbelievable. We actually had it last night for dinner because I wanted to test the recipe before this video today. And let me tell you, it is so good, even better the second day. And then for dessert, we're gonna be making an apple crumble, another really simple dish, but so flavorful and so delicious. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna be making is the baked Brussels sprouts. So as you can see, we've cleaned and halved the Brussels sprouts. And next, we're just gonna chop up some pecans to put in there. So just a really rough chop with these. You don't want them to be too small or else they will burn. So that's about just over a cup. Fire it in the bowl. So next, we're gonna be adding a few tablespoons of maple syrup. It's not something I use in my everyday cooking, but since this is a special occasion, we're gonna make this extra delicious today. Give it a good stir. And then once that's all mixed, we're gonna be adding two teaspoons each of garlic powder and onion powder. And then at this point, if you want, you could add some salt and some pepper as well. Or any other spices, mind you. Cumin would go really nicely in this. And then once that's mixed up nicely, just wanna add it to a nice big baking tray. So we're gonna be baking this with the lentil loaf that we make, so until then, we're just gonna put this aside. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is put together the main. This is such an awesome little recipe and uh, it looks a little bit intimidating when I show you all the ingredients at first, but trust me, it's super easy. And if you guys don't have one or two of these ingredients at home, just roll with it. Go with it anyways, I guarantee it's gonna taste amazing. All the recipes are gonna be in the description box down below if you guys wanna follow along that way with all the exact ingredients and everything like that. But uh, yeah, so what I've done here is I've already prepared all the veggies and everything to make it easier. So I've chopped one large carrot, two sticks, of celery and half of a large red onion. So you're gonna to wanna to saute those veggies, so get a pan onto the stove, preheat it to medium heat. And if you want, you can use a splash of water or vegetable stock as I did here to get it all going. So next thing you wanna do is blitz about a cup of oats in the blender. And with that, you're just making a really rough oat flour. So put that into a large mixing bowl, and then you wanna do the same with a half a cup of walnuts. So next you wanna mix up the rest of the dry ingredients. So we've already got the ground walnuts in there and the oat flour. And next you're gonna add two tablespoons of ground flaxseed and then a half a tablespoon of cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, and thyme. And then after about five minutes, your veggies should be done. So we'll add those to the mixing bowl. And at this point, we're basically just gonna be adding everything else. So we've already gone ahead and cooked these lentils. So this is two cups of cooked French lentils. We're gonna add a half a cup of frozen peas. And now comes all the sauces. So we're gonna add half a cup of barbecue sauce. And then two tablespoons of tomato paste. And two teaspoons of vegan Worcestershire sauce. And then one nice big tablespoon of tahini. All right, so next with clean hands, you wanna mix all this together. So you just wanna make sure everything is a nice and even consistency. Make sure that it's all really well mixed. And then while you're mixing this, you can add some salt as well at this point if you like. That was one teaspoon. So once everything is mixed together and looks something like this, you're probably good to go. So you wanna get yourself a loaf tray. And we, what we've done here is we've put a piece of parchment paper in the bottom so that you can easily take the loaf out when you're done and you don't have to like hold the top and flip it over because we are gonna be putting some stuff on the top of it. And then you just wanna press it into the corners and you don't have to pack it down too hard. So you don't want this thing to be like a brick. And then just on the top of it here, we're just gonna add some ketchup and when that bakes, it's gonna turn out so nicely. 
And then what I actually like to do is also add some barbecue sauce to the top of it. This takes it to a whole other level. Oh my gosh. Don't have to put that much on. <laughs> that was a lot. So now that these two are ready to go in the oven, you wanna make sure your oven's preheated to around 350 to 375 degrees, depending on how hot your oven is. And we're gonna bake this for about 30 to 40 minutes. All right, so now that we have those in the oven and those are baking, we're gonna get Crystal to show us her famous apple crumble. Basically what you do is you just wanna cut up some apples. I like to leave some skin on, um, and then some skin I kind of like cut off. Usually you should be taking all the skin off just because skin like this might bake up and it might be kind of chewy, but I actually like that. Some people don't. And then I've added a half a squeezed lemon to this just so the apples don't brown super quickly. And we're gonna be putting it in this dish. It's a Pyrex, it's seven inches. Is that a nine? That is a nine, I read it up. So we're gonna be putting it in this Pyrex dish, which is pretty shallow and also not huge. So to make the sauce, we're gonna put five pitted module dates in a blender. And then we're gonna add, I'm gonna say a tablespoon to start with. The last time I made this, I added way too much cinnamon and it was pretty medicinal. So I'm just gonna go with a tablespoon and then we're gonna add a little bit of water. And we're gonna add just enough water to cover everything and hope for the best. <laughs> mm, that looks really good. And then we're just gonna leave that because we are going to saute the apples. So they bake up and they get really yummy. So you wanna put the apples on medium heat and just kind of let them cook through a little bit. So while the apples are just getting warmed up on the stove, we're gonna make the little crumble that goes on top. Now, I don't usually measure this. I kind of just throw things in and go with the flow, but we're gonna try to measure it. We're gonna see how it comes out. So we're gonna go with one cup of rolled oats and we're gonna go with one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of maple syrup. And then we're gonna do a pinch, or a pretty good pinch of salt, because we didn't add any salt to the date paste, so. And we just wanna mix that up. It's gonna be really nice and sweet. So once these are cooked and they're nice and soft, they still have a little bit of a crunch to them, but they are softer than they were before, you wanna add the date paste. So once these are evenly coated and look delicious, we are going to add them to the baking dish. And then the last step is you want to add the crumble on top. Now it's ready to bake, and I would bake it at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. So you can always make this ahead of time and bake it about 20 minutes before you guys are ready to have dessert. And it goes great with vegan ice cream or banana ice cream. So the Brussels sprouts are done. It's been about 30 minutes. We're going to pull them out. The loaf can be about 10 minutes more. But we are gonna put this into bake right now. It looks so good. All right, so everything's done cooking and it all looks and smells so good. So here's the lentil and nut loaf. And we've actually like made a little plate here, so that's why these aren't as full as they would have been, but uh, we finished baking the Brussels sprouts. And the pie. This is the plate that we made. We put everything together, but usually we would have dessert after. Yeah, separately. <laughs> but you can make a salad or have this with like mashed potatoes or really just anything. Yeah. So we better try it out, let you guys know how everything is. So I guess, what do we, let's start with the Brussels sprouts. I get a little pecan. The pecans are so good. Yeah. Man, that is good. Mm hmm It's so delicious. I already know. I haven't even had it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Man. I'm proud of you. You nailed. Yeah, this one. You nailed that. This is amazing. Holy crap. It's so good. And I can see, like, if you serve this to, like, meat eaters and stuff, I can't see anybody complaining about this. Or someone, or, like, a picky eater. Now let's have dessert. Ooh. I guess I should have been letting you try it first the whole time, like chivalry and all that, but whatever. It's okay. <laughs> That's what happens when you live with someone for five years. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. 
I mean, this is about as good as you could want a simple recipe like this. You did good on this one. I wow. nailed it. I mean, like, what else can you say? All right, let's finish this video so we can eat. I'm so hungry. All right, so I think that's it. That is an awesome holiday dinner. And it doesn't have to be just be for Christmas. It can be for any holiday or special occasion or just like any time you want some amazing vegan recipes, try these out. So definitely let us know in the comments down below what you thought of these recipes and don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Simnet Nutrition if you do make these because I love seeing the creations that you guys make. So thanks again for watching this video. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas and all that. Love you guys, see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Are you looking to make some gains this winter? <laughs> I think this is like one of the best recipes you've made. So for the main, we're gonna be having a nicely marinated cookie. <laughs> and then mm. we've got the Mrs. Dash. <laughs> oh, oh, oh you're you're not not